Once you have created an account and logged into Canva, this is where you're going to land on this page. From here, you can do a few different things. You can create a design based on one of these design categories, presentation, Facebook cover, another type of presentations here, social media, etc. And you will see that each of these design categories have their own dimensions. You'll see that by hovering over them. If you click on more, this little plus button here, then you will be brought to a page with more format choices for your designs. Now you can decide to create different types of visuals for social media, for your blog, for your emails, ads, etc. The beauty of this is that Canva knows exactly which dimensions are best depending on where you want to publish these designs. So if you go for a Facebook cover, Canva will open a document which has the exact dimensions of a Facebook cover, which is pretty cool. Here on the left side, we have a menu with a bunch of extra options for you. First, you can access documents people have shared with you with this tab right here. When I click on it, you will see that Diana shared two projects with me. So I can access those from this tab. Next, you can create a team with this tab. Canva tells me here how I can actually create a team. If you're using the free version of Canva, you can create a team of up to 10 people, which is already pretty awesome. To add team members to your team, just type in their email address and they will receive an invite from Canva to create an account, if they don't already have one, and join your team. Here under, you can actually see who is in your team. Another cool feature is that you can rename your team here on the top of the page. Still in this left column, you can manage your brand. So if you come here, you will see that Canva lets you create a consistent style or branding by adding your brand colors, your logos, and your fonts. When you hover over the logo and font section though, you will be warned that these options are for Canva for work only, which is the paid upgrade you can do with Canva. So basically, the Your Brand button right here only lets you upload your company colors. Three colors to be precise, but hey, it's already something. So what else can we do from here? Well, we can find templates. Let's click on that button and see what happens. As you see, Canva brings you to a new page where you can search among 50,000 different templates. Now that is pretty awesome. And on top of it, the templates are sorted by categories and are tagged with keywords. So you can either search using keywords or just browse a specific category to find what you're looking for. Let's just do a test and search for a CV template because I want to update my CV. I'll just type in the word CV and a bunch of CV templates will pop up. The last thing you can do from here in that left column is to create a folder. Creating folders could be pretty useful if you want to organize your designs. When using the free version of Canva though, you can only create two folders. I'll just go ahead and create a folder to show you like that. And then I can rename my folder. I'll just use Ronnie's. If I create a second folder, I can also rename it like this. Canva even lets me add a little description of what to find in this folder, which is pretty nice. A cool feature is that you can share this entire folder if you want to by using this share button right here. Then the last options we have here are to upgrade to Canva for work, to learn to design, which will bring you to a bunch of free tutorials on how to better use Canva and get design inspiration, which will show you a feed of other people's designs for you to find inspiration.